This question asks us to explain three ways that a product can be designed to be more sustainable. We can see that there are six marks available for this question. As we have been asked to explain three ways, we can assume that the six marks are divided into two marks per way. This means that when we are explaining each way, we must seek to write a statement followed by the reason. This will give us two marks per way. As with other questions, it is important to identify the keywords before you begin to write your answer. The keywords here are designed and sustainable. It is important to remember that designed or manufacture are two different things and that your answer must reflect the design element rather than manufacturing element. The word sustainable is asking for the product to conserve an ecological balance for our future generations by avoiding the use of natural resources where possible. The six R's are an important tool that is often used by designers to reduce the impact of their product on the environment. Let's try to recall the six R's now. Firstly, reduce, then reuse, rethink, refuse, repair, and recycle. I am going to choose one of these terms now to help me in answering the first way that a product could be designed to be more sustainable. I'm going to choose the term recycle because immediately I have remembered that by using recycled material within a design, it means that less new materials need to be sourced and thus it is a more sustainable product. You can see here that I have written my statement, use recycled material within the design, which is followed by the reason so that less new materials need to be sourced. And that's our first two marks for this question. For the next two marks, I will scan over the 6R list that we have initially created. Looking at this list has prompted me to realise that I would like to use reuse next. I have chosen reuse as this seems to follow on well from my first answer. However, I need to ensure that I frame this answer differently so that the examiner doesn't think I have just duplicated my first answer but written it in a different way as this wouldn't get me any marks at all. For example, this time for reuse, I am thinking that parts of this product could be used in new products at the end of its life, providing I ensure I design the product so that it can be disassembled easily. For example, if I am selling cushions, I could ensure that the inner is not stitched in, but could be removed using a fastening, such as Velcro, buttons or a zip. This would mean that the inner can be taken out and reused with other covers once the original cover is no longer able to be used. Finally, I need to select one more R from my list and this time I am going to use reduce. I have already talked about materials and components, so to ensure that I do not duplicate my first two answers and to show the examiner that I have a broad range of knowledge on this issue, I am going to choose to discuss the power supply as we know that non-renewable energy has an effect on the sustainability of our environment. For example, if I am designing a fan, rather than using electricity which has been generated by fossil fuels, I could design it to use renewable energy 
such as solar as the source instead. I have highlighted here the key words that I have used within my answers, recycled, reused and reduced. This will help the examiner to clearly see the three ways that I have identified and explained. Now this is not a necessity, however it could be useful so that the examiner can immediately see and recognise that you have generated three different answers which will ensure that you are rewarded full marks for this question as we definitely have explained each one.